Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. Video three of the shower, master shower. I did do all the cement board inside the niche, inside the uh, little shelf area. Uh, that's gonna be about five inches, right at five inches wide. So I just went and cut this piece. I'm gonna install it here and I'll probably show me, that you, show me uh, installing this piece. As long as you've seen a few of them, you kind of get the idea. And then we'll start working on this, the water. Ugh. I have to change my bit back over to the star bit. I want to bring you in close and show you something just in case you ever run into this if you're doing this. So right here y'all can see I have an eighth inch piece of plywood back here for a backing piece because that's how much this 2x4 was off. This is even right here compared to the rest of these but right here it's off so I had to use a 2 by or I mean a an eighth inch piece of plywood. And the reason you want to do that is so when you go to tile all this, it's not weak at that joint and all the tile can be level straight across and plumb and even. What are you doing up there? Oh. This is the hardest part of the job. Fitting this sheetrock back in the shower. It'll tear your shoulders up because you got to sit there and hold it while someone's screwing in the screws. Whew. But we got it. it. Took me, Brendan, and Braxton. We figured it out finally though. Then you gotta find the studs. You don't put cement on hot. top of that, right? No. No. You didn't even change out of your church clothes there, babe. I don't know. It's all right. You have good boots on, guys. You wanna know why you never, never have good boots? They don't wonder why. I wonder. Like, what's wrong with your but it is burning up in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. I've got the shower pretty much finished on the inside for the cement board, except for this wall here. Which I finally got in my the shower head and the diverter and all that. I finally got that in. It was about a week late, so that's why this video is taking a little bit longer to get out because I was waiting on this. Uh, I am going to get that installed in this video, and then we'll put on the cement board on this wall. And then other than that, the only other cement board I have is right along the top to do, right along the bottom, and then right here on the top of this curb, and then up the edge of the walls. And then this little portion here. And that's all of the cement board I have left to do. I didn't show a whole lot of this just simply because it's kind of one of those things that's self-explanatory. 
you just stick it on there and screw it in. Um, it's there's not a whole lot to it. Um, if if I remember, I'll try to video more of the cement board on the maybe this bench or maybe this wall right here. I'll do some of that video. Um, but now what I'm working on. What are you working on now? Get out of my video. <sighs> are you getting ready to go to work or school or what? No, just. Just trying to look pretty. I'm just, just getting, getting ready. ready for the day. When I go to the gym, I have to look good for all the gym girls. All the gym girls? Let you know. Okay. Now there's Brendan. All right, so anyway, what I have done already is I put the green board. So anyway, in this shower, I've pretty much used green board where it has a chance to get wet. And that's what this green board's made for, uh, sheetrock drywall. So I'm gonna put it on the outside of this whole shower. I've got that piece in. I just measured for this piece. So this piece is 20 and a quarter. So I'm gonna go cut it. And what I'm doing is I'm just using a full eight foot piece here. And it doesn't go all the way to the top because this is nine foot. So obviously I'll have to cut a piece here and a piece here. And then I'll have to splice this piece in too and along the bottom. Typically you want your drywall or sheetrock to completely encompass your, your openings so that if when you shut a door or something, it has a less chance of cracking. Because if you have a seam right there on the corner of your doors, you have a really good chance of your of your drywall, your tape job cracking down the road. Um, but this is a shower opening. It's not gonna get shut hard at all. Uh, and it's it's not a heavy door. It's There's really nothing for it to like crack on. So I think I should be good with just a little bit of drywall right there instead of it completely encompassing it and then I'll go on the back side and do this one as well so here's my drywall but look at this I got a chicken out that's one of the sapphire gems the all gray they're really pretty what are you doing over here buddy this is where we had all of our uh, <laughs> Halloween stuff and Thanksgiving stuff before we moved it all over there inside their pen to help with the hawks. We're trying to trying to use these little decorations right here as like scarecrows to keep the hawks out. But this is the same chicken that's getting out at least once a day. All right, let's go back to cutting some sheetrock. All right. 20 and a quarter. Actually, I want to go from yeah, I want to go from this cut side. typically cut from the other side but it's not standing up straight the right way so all right this is my good side actually I'm gonna trim a little bit of this off So I'm using a regular Phillips bit, not a drywall bit. So it's real easy to pop your screws all the way through. What did you cut? Okay, I got lucky. My nephew showed up and he's a plumber. By trade, that's what he does. Look at this, he's putting in my uh, shower head and all that. Yeah, he does this for a living, so I'd much rather him do this since he's here. That way it's, uh, it's kind of like 
fail proof, right? Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. Everybody can fail. So his name's Taz. This is my, uh, my nephew. He actually lives in South Carolina. So he's not here often, but he is here this week. And he's gonna help us out. Get it done. Okay, so Taz, you're about, what are you, 32? 33. 33? So yeah, Taz is 33. I remember the day he was born, his parents named him Taz. And I was like, wait a minute, like Tasmanian? They were like, no, just Taz. And that's the day I realized how boring my name was. Mike, really, just Mike. Taz, it's such a cool name. It is. People ask me if it's a nickname all the time. Yeah, no, that's his name. But like I was saying earlier in the video, he is from South Carolina. He doesn't get up here very often, so it is pretty cool to see him every once in a while. And I'd love to see him a lot more, but his whole family's out in South Carolina, so. Uh, Taz, look at the camera. Everybody's gonna wanna say thank you. All my subscribers are gonna wanna say thank you, so we appreciate it. You're very welcome. Okay, he is finished. Looks like a professional did it. Way better than I would've made it look. So I also finished this whole wall. So even up there at the top, all the way across, all the way down. It's all got sheetrock. It's all got the green board, it looks really good. So now my next step is to go ahead and start putting this same Dura Rock board over here on this wall, making sure all this stuff lines up. I've got this valve here, which is gonna be a wand, a separate wand. This is the, you know, the lever and stuff. And then the, where the shower, actual shower head comes out. So I'll have to make sure all three of those line up when I put my Dura Rock in. Okay, so I got this bottom piece on. Now it's time to do this piece where I've got to cut out. I got to be exact on that. So this, I have to cut this opening in a square around this housing. Um, I should be able to do this, but I want to take you guys out with me and show you kind of how I do it. I don't know if you guys see, but my chicken's still here with me. Been up here all day. Won't go back in, even though I fed them. All right, so I've already marked this to be my cut line. Um, one thing I do use is a saw that has diamond. Uh, it's got the diamond coating on the edges here on the blade. It makes really quick work of this stuff. I'm going to cut the actual width of the board first and then I'll lay it down flat make my markings for my two holes and, and cut them as well Okay, that's as about as smooth and as straight a cut as you're gonna get with that little tool and it's very quick and easy. Now you just use your utility knife to come in here and finish this cut. All right, now I got my hole here. I forgot my drill. Let me go grab my drill. Okay. I'm going to attempt to put this on and hope it lines up right. Wish me luck. It's like a glove. That is like, I don't know. I don't know if I could have done much better. Yeah, that's good. Ooh. 
leave it right where it's at. This is like perfect, so I'm gonna screw it in and hope for as good as luck up here at the top. Okay, tip number two. Okay, y'all, I ran out of screws, so I had to postpone the rest of this, which it's actually pretty much done. Uh, stepping in here, I'll show you what I lack. That piece right there. And then if I can get this to focus, there we go, the bench. But I do not have any more of the screws for the cement board. So I started over here. Put this piece on, cut this doorway out, and then we're putting in an inset medicine cabinet right here, and maybe even one down here, we haven't decided. One thing I would recommend, if there's any way possible for you to cut your sheetrock outside, if you're precise enough to make this inset cut, look at that mess down there. Also, I had to do the door the same way, so I'm sure Tanya's not gonna be happy with me. I got the broom. I'm cleaning as I'm working, but uh, it's still messy and it, it gets everywhere. I mean, you can't clean it all up. You're going to have to like thoroughly wipe down this room. I was going to have to anyway with all this cement board. So anyway, thought I'd just give you a little quick look at this. Probably won't video any of this. Uh, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, let me know. Maybe I can video some of this. Um, I don't know. I guess I could. Anyway, I thought I'd just give you a quick look at what I'm doing when I'll, I'm waiting on these screws. The reason I'm waiting is because it's Thanksgiving Day. So if I haven't already told you, Happy Thanksgiving. It'll be late, but Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>